Howdy everybody. Today I picked up a few coins to pop in my albums. Let's get them in there. First up we have this beautiful 1937 Buffalo Nickel. This thing's in beautiful mint state condition. No great rarity or anything, but just an absolute stunner. Okay, let's get the little guy out of there. Try to get a better view. And bam. Shiny like a star. Boom. Okay, popping over to the album here. This is my 20th century typeset album. And it's one of my coin collecting goals for 2024 is to complete this bad boy. I made a previous video about it and some of my other coin collecting goals for 2024. Oh yeah, that's a good feeling getting that puppy in there. Kind of hurts my thumb though. Hey, let me know what you think I should add to this next. Lots of empty spaces on this page. Moving right along. This is an 1825 Liberty Head Large Scent. Mintage is around 1,461,100. Though she's not in the greatest shape, I do believe it's more of a VG than a G. And with the price I paid, I can't complain at all. My large scent album is one that I absolutely love finding new additions for. As you can see, there's plenty of dates that I still need. That's where she's going right there. I only have two on this page so far. I need to get more. I'm not super picky with this album, but I do prefer to find large scents that are not all pitted and corroded. I hate ones that look like they just got dug up out of the ground. Sometimes you just gotta take what you can get though. Let's get it flipped up here, nice and centered. Staple it. Crimp it. Always make sure you crimp it. Write the date. Nice and neat. And yes, I realize now that I wrote 1925 instead of 1825. I guess I'll have to go back and fix that. Okay, get out of here. The next coins I have to show you is a 46S and 46D Walking Liberty Half Dollar. For some reason, these 46s and even the 47s are just harder to come by. There was plenty minted, but I just don't see them that much. So when I seen these two, I figured I'd scoop them up. Now I call this my budget walker set because my goal with this collection is to complete an entire date run of Walking Liberty Half Dollars in about VG to fine condition for the cheapest price possible. So far, I've had a lot of fun doing this. And I've made a lot of progress. 47 out of 65 slots have been filled so far. So I'm pretty proud of that. Also, including these two, I have spent a total of $836. Originally, I was thinking I would try to do this for under $1,000 to see if it was possible to complete a collection of Walking Liberty Half Dollars for under a thousand. But realistically, I still need the 1921, which is the key date in the series, and I expect that to cost me right around $200, putting me over that $1,000 mark. But, oh well, I am still very curious to see how much I spend on this entire set. Get this one all labeled. Looking good. Okay. 
Now we're ready to add these. I love looking at these all laid out. Such a beautiful coin. Why does the mint not make coins like this anymore? Everything's so bland and boring. I honestly don't even like a lot of the new designs that they have for the quarters. I think they just kind of take over and are messy. And we're in. Now let's get this guy out. And the replacement. Just pop it in. Nice. Okay. Just look at those. Every time. Mm -mm. That's all I have today. Thank you guys for watching. I know it's been a while since I've posted a video. Life's just been super hectic. I'm really going to try to get more out there. But no promises. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed. Please like, leave a comment, and subscribe. Maybe check out my eBay store. Link in bio. Bye-bye.